Most of us never even think about it. But for those with severe asthma, the simple act of breathing in and out is an effort. They live in constant fear of an asthma attack. And with good reason, nine people die from asthma every day. In the United States today, the CDC estimates that there's about over 22 million people who have asthma. 10 to 15% of those people have severe asthma. There is approximately 3,500 deaths per year due to asthma, which translates into nine people a day die from asthma in the United States currently. In, in typical asthma or mild asthma, in between attacks, unfortunately most of the time, patients have fairly normal function. Their airways are relatively open and they're relatively symptom free. In patients who have severe asthma, commonly those patients have abnormal or lessened pulmonary function all the time, and then it gets even worse when they have an asthma attack. So those patients frequently are on multiple, multiple medications and still have symptoms on a daily basis, even when they're in good control for them. Judy Cassis knows what it's like to live with severe asthma. For years, she avoided walking, talking on the phone, and most daily activities that many of us take for granted in an effort to stave off attacks that often ended in trips to the emergency room. There were days that I just would lay on the sofa and uh, just really pray to die because it was so hard to breathe. I just kept thinking it'd be easier if I just died because it was just, it was very difficult. I couldn't have people over for dinner because I couldn't get the cooking done. And I just, we just quit entertaining and we quit doing anything. I just became a kind of a hermit. And I'm, that's not me, that's just not me. With many patients like Judy, medications often aren't enough to control their severe asthma and may carry risks of side effects like weight gain and osteoporosis. In April 2010, the FDA approved a breakthrough medical device for the treatment of severe persistent asthma in patients 18 years or older whose asthma is not well controlled with current medications called inhaled corticosteroids and long-acting beta agonists. Called bronchial thermoplasty, this innovative treatment uses radio frequency energy to target the airway smooth muscle within the airway walls in the lung. In patients with severe asthma, the airway smooth muscle is thicker than normal, and thinning it results in reduced airway constriction, allowing better airflow. Bronchial thermoplasty is a procedure uh, that uses radio frequency energy that radio frequency energy delivers heat. And it's done through a very small catheter that's placed through a bronchoscope. We have a lighted video scope that we can place down into your airways uh, after a patient is appropriately sedated. On each patient, uh, it's done in three sessions. We do the right lower lobe, three weeks later followed by the left lower lobe, three weeks later followed by both upper lobes. There are minor risks. There is a slight risk with moderate sedation. There's also a small risk with each procedure of causing a flare of their asthma. We do things to prevent that and avoid it uh, by giving anti-inflammatory medicines for several days before the day of the procedure and the day after. Uh, and we watch the patients very closely. Judy underwent bronchial thermoplasty and says it changed her life. I feel wonderful. I can talk on the phone. That's the, that's what's so great. I, I just, it's just a miracle is all I can say. I, I can't, there's no way I can describe it any other way. I just, I still have occasionally a little bit of asthma and I know it, but I don't quit breathing. And I go like that and I'm thinking, oh yeah, you're not plugged up. You're, you're, you're breathing. It's just, you have a little bit of asthma. That's all. It's just wonderful. Bronchothermoplasty is uh, a significant forward step in patients who have severe persistent asthma. This should result in improvement in their daily lives, they should be able to increase their daily activities, improve their quality of life, decrease healthcare utilization. Uh, this dramatically alters in a good way uh, their lives. If you are 18 years or older and suffer from severe asthma, Ask the doctor about bronchial thermoplasty and breathe easier.
Bronchial thermoplasty, delivered by the Allaire system, is currently performed at top hospitals throughout the U.S., like Texas Health Presbyterian in Dallas. Bronchial thermoplasty helps adult patients with severe asthma achieve better control of their asthma symptoms for years rather than hours, which was all that could be expected with medications alone. Bronchial thermoplasty is indicated for patients aged 18 and above who have severe persistent asthma that is in poor control despite their usual medications. For patients like Deborah Prosser White, Bronchial thermoplasty has improved their quality of life. I actually had an asthma attack about a month before the first treatment, and that was my last asthma attack at the hospital that I've had to go to the hospital for. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that uh, that'll be my last one. I noticed doing things around the house, things that you know I would I would get out of breath with before, and like carrying up laundry from the basement, just as something as simple as that. I wasn't as winded, or um, you know I help outside more than I used to. Bronchial thermoplasty is not for patients with an active implant, such as a pacemaker, or sensitivity to medications used in bronchoscopy, like lidocaine. Patients should be stable and suitable to undergo bronchoscopy. Once the treatment is finished, patients should not be retreated. The most common side effect of bronchial thermoplasty is an expected temporary increase in respiratory symptoms, such as wheezing, shortness of breath, chest discomfort or pain, and respiratory tract infection. Caution, law restricts this device to sale by or on the order of a physician. Indications, contraindications, precautions, and warnings can be found with product labeling. Bronchial thermoplasty delivered by the Allaire system is just one of the groundbreaking solutions offered by Boston Scientific, which develops products, technologies, and services for less invasive medical specialties. For more information about severe asthma and bronchial thermoplasty with the Allaire system, including its benefits and risks, visit bt4asthma.com.